All right. Oh, damn, that was mad fast. Awesome. What's going on, my lovely people of the world? No, why didn't you want to play with me? I'm over here in the corner just chilling with my bruh, Jubei, who's never going to actually be in the game. Right, let me see. I think I settled on... I'm not positive if this is actually a Gurren Lagan color, but that is what it seems to be. And it's kind of the only color I really like for Asriel. I do like his blue color, the color, I think, three. But everybody uses that. Like, I think, um... Shit, what's his name? I can't think of his name. Darn. I suck. But Zexo uses that color. He's always used that color. Um, and another, like, pretty prominent Asriel. This thing said three bars. This is not looking three bars to me. I just, I immediately went, maybe, maybe it's smoothing out. I immediately just went to the first three bar that I saw and ran to it. So I guess we'll find out. Special intro? Special intro. Used, used Ragnar's brand new flashy move in Asriel's 5C. Alrighty. Oh, it is very laggy. This is not good. It is not good. Fun fact, that was supposed to be a DB. Oh god! Oh Jesus! <laughs> god damn it! The game told me three bars! It lied to me! God, everything's so more delayed. Everything's so delayed. Oh, I don't have meter. I use the rapid. <laughs> Jesus Christ! My first Blaze Blue match, everybody. It said three bars. I thought that said horny. I legit, I legitimately thought that said horny. <laughs> cool. <coughs> uh oh, now it's not even showing me shit. Show me shit, please. Did join in the lobby fuck everything up? So that was the one I was in. Uh oh. It's not dis. Okay, there it is. But now it says. You man, we're joining this one. Um, it is. It's only like noon on a weekday for me, so um, it's not a terrific time. Obviously, you know, like a time, a place in the day, especially on a weekday. You know, like afternoon. You you would want to wait until nighttime for it to like actually be kind of getting um more people around your region, because like you know, I have a fucked up schedule in comparison to everybody else. I work mad early in the morning i'm usually finished around noon if not somewhat before it whereas most people you know don't go to work nearly at midnight <laughs> but i do so um it leads to scenarios like this where i kind of just i just kind of hopped on and was like fuck it let's see who's playing and i saw a bunch of lobbies that were i don't know what happened beforehand because it's like obviously you just saw there were a ton of zeros there when i first started there were a bunch of ones a bunch of twos a fair selection of threes and that time it was like one three and then all zeros so i don't know man Please select your character. oh we're gonna get our first my experience the broken character as everybody claims we gonna get bopped I mean, I do know in terms of just like purely, I need to take that Tager icon off because I have no intention of using him. I shouldn't say, you know what, I might actually use him at some point during this video. I feel like Tager will get absolutely, see this is looking a hell of a lot better. I feel like Tager will get bopped by this character though. Like the range, the average range of her pokes. Woo! Almost ever, like, I don't know how badly he loses to Susan.
shit. Oh, I fucked that up. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I don't even know what that was! But that didn't look like something you should just throw out in the middle of the screen. Oh god. What am I doing? I'm hitting her. Yo, bangs like Furin Kazan? Shit! Quit standing up, bruh. Shit! Everything with Asriel is safe. Like, you gotta understand that, man. If you wanna try to mash out of block strings with Asriel, you gotta pick your fastest pokes. Because I know what my fastest pokes are. And you gotta be... And I'm gonna be using them. You know? So, like, if you can't be trying to, like, Oh, man, I just blocked something of Asriel's. Let me use 5C here. You need to be using your A buttons if you wanna mash out. Which you can. Like, there's a lot of things. One of the biggest things that has kind of persisted throughout all of Asriel's time in life is that, um... People just let him get away with 2C canceled into 6D or 3D. And that's not safe at all. Every single person can, uh, I shouldn't say every single, I mean, I'm pretty sure every single character in the game can mash out an A button, can mash out something in between to punish him for that. Every single one, you never have to guess. You just press a button if you see him start moving forward. And people just don't do that. They let Azriel get away with too much. What? What is this dude doing? This person's hitting the buttons! Oops, I meant to backdash and then I just didn't backdash at all. What the hell is happening? Oh boy. Why is that Aaron Bly? It does not look like something that should be Aaron Block. What the f- Did she run up D? Why? What is happening? I- She would have been dead. I, I She would have been dead if I had actually comboed that correctly. I fucked that up. Damn it. I mean, obviously she could have bursted, but yeah, I fucked that up. What? See, I don't know what this character's doing. That's mad. Like, that's really fast. Wow, that had... A rather significant amount of block stun attributed to it. I was not expecting it to have that much fucking block stun. God damn. Her astral, I mean. So that just doesn't miss, right? Wow, that was a random ass lag spike. That's cool. I can't even. Yeah, I can't backdash that. Like, I legitimately don't get to do anything about that. I guess I should have expected that. Yeah, so that just doesn't miss. That's really. That's a cool mechanic, I suppose. Okay. I understand. I really, after playing that match, I legitimately truly understand why people say what they do about my. Like, you can. You don't really get to be active against that. 
You have to be reactive. I get that. I, I think I can see that. Now, granted, obviously, that's my second match ever against Maya. I can't say that definitively, but, like, the speed. Now, that thing that they, both of these players were using a lot of, that grounded, like, forward rush move, ridiculously fast, also looked ridiculously unsafe. But was I correct in seeing that shit said, like, it did 2k damage by itself? Like, what the fuck is that? But yeah, she's definitely... I can definitely see why people say this character, you just get to hit buttons. Because as much as people want to say that that's how Asriel is, that is not how he works. you got to be careful. When he's in, that's how he works. But that's how a lot of characters are in this game. Like, damn near every character in the game can just do shit once they get in. And you have to kind of... Your choice is either to sit there or block, or you got to... Do a guard cancel. It's like that shit can't be safe. There's no way. It's bad design if that's safe. If it was a move where it's like the unmasked version is safe, but if you mash it, it's not safe, that would make sense. But yeah, that uh that projectile looking completely unavoidable, that seemed, that would be some, wow. This, this is, this is, yep. See, like, I understand where people are coming from, but, like, if this is how the average my player plays, which I have to imagine it is, because it does seem like the kind of thing that would lead to people being very angry and saying that this character is bullshit, but, like, nothing they're doing is intelligent. Nothing they're doing should be working unless you are ignorant of the purposes, which obviously I was very much. You know, seeing how every my every reaction was, what the fuck is happening? Um, but like, see that right there? That's bullshit. That it just auto tracks, and there's nothing you can do about it. That's stupid. You should have to actually aim it. Um, but other than that, I'm not really seeing. anything like unstoppable I've always hated like auto tracking shit though like auto it, auto anything that just you press it and it does the work for you I've never liked that that's always been stupid to me it's more like for a while actually when I was playing overwatch I hated hated McCree and soldier 76 um because they got auto-aim shit, right? Like, you just pop it, and you don't have to do anything. People just have to be on your screen, and it handles the work for you. I didn't think it was bullshit or anything. I just thought, like, kind of, what a dull mechanic overall. And I, I feel the same way about this, except this seems to be a hell of a lot worse. Tanger would get fucked by this, wouldn't he? It depends on how unsafe it is. I'm trying to think of, like, how Sledge might deal with it. I wonder if it keeps going, because it's, it's variable. It's always variable, depending upon the character. Whether or not their projectiles go away once you hit them. Ooh, a Susano. Uh, and so like if that speed could you imagine reacting to that shit like oh they're charging the D move again and so you toss a spark bolt and it hits and then you get bopped by the spear <laughs> I'd be so mad what they should have done for the auto track now actually well granted I mean it's kind of is it something that's already done by lychee Right, but I was kind of thinking of it like how um, Milia, her little dagger thing works, where you gotta collect it after you throw it. That's kind of how I was thinking, is like, you can use the regular drive where you just throw it, and then it automatically returns to her, or you throw it, and then it auto-tracks the opponent, but once you do that, you're out your spear, and now you have a worse move set, and you have to go collect it, or some shit like that. That would, like, some kind of negative would justify, but... 
far as I can tell, there is no negative. This poor Susanu player is gonna get Susanu. No, I need to stop saying Susanu. This poor dude is just gonna get bullied like crazy. Use your 4D off of that, man! Looks laggy, actually. Poor bastards. But it really does suck, because like, I really do. Because I've never given a shit. Obviously, I use Asriel. Of course, I don't give a shit about people that are like incredibly judgmental towards your character choice. So everybody being like, Man, Maya's the worst. She's so overpowered. Only scrubs use her because she's just a mash-friendly kid. All that shit. I don't care about any of that. Say what the fuck you want. I'm going to play who I want. Um, and so, like, just watching her, it's like, man, this is the type of character. And then she's like, it actually looks like a fun spear user rather than Ken, who was just, like, fucking ridiculous. But he wasn't particularly fun to use. He was just an amazing goddamn character. She actually looks fun to use. But... I don't support $8 character DLC. If she goes on sale, you better believe I'm gonna hop on that fast as fuck. But I'm not paying $8 for a single character. I always love, too, how, like... Whenever you say something like that, right? You say something similar to, Oh, I'm not buying such and such because I don't think it's worth the price. Everybody's automatic response is always, Why don't you get a real job, you fucking basement dweller? Like, that's the reason why. Somebody can't have... Something that they believe isn't worth the cost because they can't afford it. It's not some other reason. It's always that they're just poor. Yo, the Susano one! It's really weird, like, the my, when the my players were playing each other, they were just going fucking bonkers and doing whatever the hell they wanted to. But then, once, like, that player ran up against me, they were very cautious. The first one, they were very cautious. And then when they ran up against the Susano, very cautious. But... Susano is definitely, it looks like a character that you can bully if you want to. Does not appear to be the kind of person that you can just like, that you need to be particularly worried about uh, once you get offensive momentum. Versus Asriel, I mean, he has all his always amazing backdash. And then he has his, um, now he has his new DP. Yeah, buddy, give me my theme music! Poor Hakuman. This dude talks a lot, doesn't he? It is laggy. Why would you burst there? Why wouldn't you burst before that? I can't jump over that, really? I can't back dash? Oh yeah, that's right, I gotta do it mad early. Jesus! Help! It's not, it's not fun times. Maybe now I think I kind of understand why that uh, my player was being cautious if this was what they were playing in. God damn it. I can't tell if that was mad safe. Good God, help me. That's fine. 
Jesus. I just, I hate, like, how stupid it makes you look when you play in a bad connection. You never look good when you play in a bad connection. Let me go hang out with these pumpkins. <coughs> Why do people take so long? Brother just wanna play. Am I gonna get my uh, revenge? Please Should I use? All right. We're gonna see how the fuck this works. It's a terrible idea. My combos are subpar. I have a feeling this matchup is gonna be ass. Like there's no way this could possibly be like an actual good matchup. There's no way. But we're about to find out just how bad it might be. I'm an idiot, that doesn't work anymore. What? So that'll probably be good against like a mashing person. Wasn't that? I thought that had armor. Did somebody lie to me? Oh, okay, so it isn't guaranteed. Thanks, Magnetism, for working, like, after. Oh, wow, that, okay. <laughs> that made sense. What? Cool. Cool. I am just so fucking good. Cool. That was like seven 720s attempted. I did not get a single one, and I legitimately could not tell you why. Because I made sh like, I did not just do a 720 once I fucked up the first one. I started doing like 9,760s. And I don't even know if that's divisible by 720, but it doesn't matter, because it is more than 720, and thus I should have gotten it, but it never fucking came out, and I don't get why. <laughs> Help me. I was fucking up, like, I wasn't actually fucking up the combos specifically, but, like, every single step of the way, I'm sitting there and going, is this right? Is this right? Is it, am I doing the right thing? Like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing right now. Well, that's just a bad idea. <laughs> Come on, you're gonna go from my to Noel against Tager? Girl, you gonna get fucked! I just sledge all day. It does have armor now, doesn't it? But is it only like... Maybe it's not while it's charging. Maybe it's only during the active frames. I know I've seen it proc armor, but that might have only been... Like, maybe it was only a sledge, or like I said, it's only during the active frames and not while you are in the middle of charging it. All that shit. I say it's here, Nate. What the fuck was that? Sancy here now. I should have done it far earlier than that. I 
could have done. I win. Oh god! This isn't a good look. My tag is really, really bad right now because, like, like I said, I'm just I'm second guessing everything. I tried to check, I was slow. I, I can just see, I see it. Obviously you see it. I have no Tager right now. Cause I'm so like, I just, I don't... <sighs> I use Atomic Collider too often. And like I mentioned before, Atomic Collider is just a bad move now. And because I use Atomic Collider, I'm basically forced into um, using Gadget Finger afterwards. Cause you can't do anything after that. You, I mean, you can. Um, against some characters with low enough proration, you can do 5A, 4D. Or you can do 5A in a Spark Bolt, but 5A 4D is... Anyway, you can do that, but rarely doesn't work after, like, you do any kind of decent combo. Um, but it's just, it's not... He's so... Everything is so different. Your combo paths, obviously getting used to using the Gadget Finger Whiff to continue combos, things like that. It's just everything required... Oh, boy. And he's skipping the intro. Oh, boy. This is, going, this is not going to be a good time, fellas. <laughs> Shit, I should have done a better combo than that. Didn't even combo. That doesn't even combo. I should have done 5A 3C. 5A 3C is what I should be doing. Can't do anything off of that anymore. Oops, that was stupid. Oh, he's not magnetized anymore. Slow as fuck overheads. Of course, that's not gonna work. I shouldn't have done that! Okay. I was even thinking, see, like, this is how bad muscle memory is when you switch characters. Or not when you switch characters, but when you go over to a new iteration of the game and your character is that different. The entire time I'm thinking, I've knocked him down. After 2C, Gadget Finger with. I'm thinking it. The, at every step of the way, gadget finger whiff, gadget finger whiff, gadget finger whiff. 2C comes, hands just immediately do Atomic Collider. No gadget finger whiff. So thank God it actually killed because that would not have ended. Uh, that would, I mean, it probably would have gone fine because, like I said, the connection was not good and, like, come on. Tager versus Naoto in a bad connection. Tager's gonna win that. <laughs> I would bet money already that Tager's already got an advantageous matchup. Actually, one of my fa the favorite moments I've seen in a while. Um, who was he playing? I think it was Barrel. It was A92 against Barrel. And so, you know, like, one of the first trials you do with Naoto that teaches you about the dash canceling stuff is you land a jumping move, and then you do a micro dash into 5B. And so, like, at the very start of the round, Barrel just stands there because it's Tager. You don't really want to take a risk at the start of a round. He doesn't really have that great op uh, very many good options at the start of a round. Or, um... And then A92 just jumps and sees. All right, Barrel's just standing there. Hits him where it doesn't hit him, but... Uh, gets him to block a 5JC. 
Micro dashes forward, immediately gets 360A. Just right at the start of the round, he blocks it, immediately 360As, and A92 just dashes right into it because he's trying to do the Naoto shit. And then you like you add shit like that. Like that's probably kind of how the matchup generally goes. Like you gotta be godlike and hit confirming with Naoto, or you're just gonna get fucked. That being safe, I had no idea. Like, Cause now I'm actually watching more videos of um, of Central Fiction now. Cause like I actually you know I understand how Naoto works. I understand Hibiki. I understand Nine. Still don't understand Izanami. That character's whack as hell. Um, but I get, you know, like, what the characters are doing, and now when I'm watching things, I can see the nuances of what's going on, of certain things, and what their properties are, and, you know, noticing, alright, that's safe, that's not safe, that kind of shit. That dash special move of hers, being safe, is one of the dumbest things I have seen so far in this game. That is just mad irritating. I mean, it's like as if her neutral wasn't good enough already, right? She can't hit you from, you know, she can just throw shit out at mid-screen and it's gonna hit you anyway, but then she can just throw out a dash and be right in your face, because why the fuck not? That's another thing, too, that, like, every time I see her, and I always forget to mention it as well. Yo, the online tactics! Because of the range of her pokes. Like, everything she does is just natively burst safe. Because you're, you're never going to be close enough to actually hit her with your burst. Like, that sucks so hard. Do you know how good of a thing it is to just have freely burst safe combos? You have no idea how amazing that is. I don't think most people who actually, like, use characters like that... Actually, the Murakamo units are... No, well, not really, uh... Not really Moo, but, like, Nu and Lambda? Both of them, you they're kicking the shit out of you out of range of your burst and so like if you burst you're just gonna die it's just it's such an amazing feature to have as a character and for them to just be like yeah why not she's not good enough as it is let's just make sure that all her shit is burst safe because of the range of her pokes it's insane man i kind of feel a little bad <laughs> everybody's in here using all their new characters and shit and i'm using asriel and tager I'm an asshole! Let's end on that note!